this works better. Nice. How's that? That's pretty good. Fucking right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had uh, now. I'm now I'm trying to virtual because I had. Um, I've, I think I've used every room in the house, right? Like I just, and now because you know the wife works out there in her office, and it wasn't the best sound, so I go into this room and I've had this some kind of a fucking pterodactyl yapping right in my window, right behind me. <laughs> And now I'm in, like in an echo chamber. <laughs> I'm just like, it looks great, man, from here. Yeah. Like in, out in the woods somewhere. Yeah, well, I actually, I took that picture. Oh, really? I oh, did, awesome. yeah. Looks good, man. It yeah, that was man. from, uh, you know, uh, Sulphur Mountain? You, you, you go yeah, Sulphur I know Mountain. the name, but I, I don't remember it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, well, you haven't been here in how long? Uh, right. About a hundred years. <laughs> How's it? Your sound's really good on your end. I got a little mixer just made for this oh, stuff. I bet. I bet. Yeah. yeah, well, it's, yeah. it's important. All these fancy smenche. <laughs> <laughs> how does uh, how does my end sound? Sounds pretty good. Great, right? man. Not bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, no fuck. That's, what, that's what we do. <laughs> when you're pro, right? Let's go yeah, pro like this. <laughs> podcast and pro you going uh straight water yeah that, that's actually tequila no yeah that's yeah. Water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i kicked the beers like i uh once in a while now i have them but just uh i'll go uh wine or whiskey tequila that's it that's no no more beer is that like a i can't pack it on man i can't, I can't. yeah it's the pounds right yeah that's it. Uh, I find it's really heavy on me. So I, now I just go mm -hmm. and, and maybe I drink slower too with <laughs> whiskey and, <laughs> and tequila. I don't put any ice or nothing. I just drink, pour it in a glass and drink it and then seem to slow myself down a little bit. Well, that's true. <laughs> no, it works. I don't, yeah, I just, I pound the scotch. I do, I do wine and scotch. Like it's going out of style and oh, not many beers. I, I just, I can't, I have a terrible, maybe it's just our age too pricey Man, right? like i don't i don't know it's it's hard to you know what though you can't beat it after like a, you're twirling around on the ice or if it's a mm -hmm. mowing the grass or something like that but yeah just lately i've been i just find tequila is warmer <laughs> i don't know what it is man. yeah it warm, yeah. warms the coccyx so no, no, the, no, yeah, yeah your cockles cockles <laughs> <laughs> you're eating a cockle yeah <laughs> Well, hey, well, good, good to have you, buddy. I just yeah, uh, yes, it's cool. Awesome it's cool. seeing you. Yeah, it's yeah. Awesome. I haven't seen your face here, and I don't know. Well, again, I don't. I think it took grade twelve math three times, but when? <laughs> <laughs> when did you? When did? We, when did you think? I mean, first time we met, right? Like, first oh time. gosh, that was uh, that would have been like ninety five, probably right around ninety. That was well, your, when you got. Was that when you came into Acadia? Would have would have been nineteen ninety five, yeah. Yeah, so I you and think. you you and Stenner and Ammer need a place to stay. Craig and, uh, Stenner we House, had this Trevor great big Rude, yeah. friggin' mansion that we somehow sequestered from somebody, and we had that wicked downstairs part with pool table and and uh, yeah, you guys stayed there for probably I don't know about a month or so, and then found I think Hanneman spot maybe after that or. Uh, you know who it was Tom Coolin? It was Tom Coolins. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, that's a good memory because you know I, I kind of like with these podcasts, I kind of started asking people when they <laughs> thought we met and when, versus what I thought we met, and then yeah. you just reminded me, yeah, we live we lived together, yeah, for the first month, yeah, or so like you said, and I remember I was just, well, we were all parting our faces off. Oh my that was god, the, that yeah, was that the was, age, you know, that was insane back then. Yeah, <laughs> it was insane. Yeah. And and but I I remember how we got our how we got our place. Um, yeah. Do you remember how we got it? I I we no. showed up we showed up to school, and yeah. so myself and Trevor Ammonrud and um, yeah, Craig Stenner, Craig Stenhouse were we were all rookies, and I want to say Michael Leary as well, and a couple others. Yeah, but he anyway, was around. I, yeah, and and. Uh, Tom Coolin, who was the coach, uh, recruited us to come in and I hadn't yeah. met him yet. And yeah. so I went to his house and I said, uh, and he wasn't there. <laughs> I said, well, no, he was there. He was there, but he said, he said, yeah. 
I said, where am I living? Like, I don't have a place to live. And uh, yeah. he goes, well, you heard, I got a new job, right? Like I'm going, he was going to the, the Flames Farm. I think the St. John right? Flames. Yeah. St. John Flames. He said, yeah, I got a gig. I'm going to St. John's. I said, okay, well, co- where are we living? And then he looks behind. He goes, well, you want my place? Here. He gives us the keys. <laughs> He's got this big mansion. <laughs> there you go. Right on the main street too. Right yeah, it was a track. wicked spot. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. We had, uh, we had some big, big shakers in there for oh, uh, after we won nationals. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jeez, yeah, my liver still hurts just thinking about those. Oh my god! Holy smokes! Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah, was pretty good. Also, I see you got the you got the G and D swag on. I love it. I put her Thanks, up. Buddy. Yeah, what do you think? Thanks, looks man. Yeah, good, it looks eh? really good. Yeah, it pops. It really pops. I've been getting there. a lot of a lot of good feedback on it. So I'm have you? I'm, good. I'm a test market out here out east for you. <laughs> totally is. Yeah, yeah, we've had a few. We've had a yeah. few out there, a uh, few, few from out east. Yeah, that's I'm good. Sure, yeah. No, yeah. thanks. Thanks for doing that. I, I it looks appreciate awesome. it, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. Like, uh, and my wife's all over the uh, the toque now. She's seen the royal blue, so she wants the royal blue toque. So I'll I'll put in an order after we're done this. <laughs> good. Yeah, you be, you gotta help me with my uh, sound or my editing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Sure. You got it going on. It's good, man. I love it. I always yeah. thought you should be doing something like this. It's cool. Well, thanks. It's funny. I thank you. I I uh, I always thought of doing something like this. Like since yeah. I was a kid, I you know it's either whatever you dream of, like a Jimmy Fallon type, or or even yeah. I did a lot of like improv and and drama stuff. And <laughs> Palsy actually got me to do stand up one day. I don't know if I ever told really? you. Really? No, I didn't know that. Kevin Powell. Yeah. Yeah. He threw me right right into the fire. We go uh, away. Yeah, we we were playing in Wichita together. And there yeah. was this big um, meet meet the fans night, yeah. and I didn't want to. Well, we didn't want to go, and so we went and got smashed. And yeah. then we showed up late, and we thought we'd sneak into the party the back door, which turned out to be literally the stage. The stage. <laughs> so everybody. Oh, that's awesome! That's so everybody a looked right there. Yeah, and then he palsy belts into a Harry Connick song and sings a song because we're all you know having a good time and then he goes and uh tuxie's got some stand-up <laughs> he throws me the <laughs> mic <and> walks away <laughs> i was like oh my god oh, so, i would love to see that yeah yeah but, I, but this this stuff now that you can just i mean this is free youtube you just you know what i was oh, like yeah. let's just give it a whirl what the hell right it's awesome it's great to connect too right like you start getting into some like you said some old stories and yeah it's fun stuff yeah I know. Yeah. Well, well, I never would have thought. Hey, I mean, uh, to see to see where you're at, but I guess maybe we can do a timeline for for people uh, um, on you, you know myself, our relationship anyway, and how how we got to where we were. But so I guess so. Ninety five, um, obviously Acadia, and then so yeah. when did you when did you graduate and and where'd you go? Uh, Ninety six. I graduated. Ninety six. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like that, I only had really that one year there. And then uh, I might have, yeah, I think I stuck around working locally in the area for about another year. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then I took off, uh, went to Calgary. And yeah, I think the next time we ran into each other, you guys went to the Nationals in Saskatchewan. Yep. Saskatoon. And, uh, yep. Yeah. So I went there and I, yeah, uh, I, I don't want to tell too many stories about how I looked. <laughs> my, yeah, I ran into Dennis Broxton into one in one of the pubs there during that time, and somehow our it was packed in this place. And both of us, I think, were walking around the place naked before anyone got caught. Anyway, yeah, we yeah, uh, of course, yeah, it was back and yeah, crazy stuff. The streak. Anyways, days. Yep. yeah, I found our clothes too, which was kind of cool. And mm-hmm. then uh, we. Uh, I think you you came out after that to uh, uh, try it with Team Canada, and and I was working with them a little bit at that time. And oh, yeah, we, didn't you? Or maybe you were. Maybe did you come out to live first, and then try it out? It's a great question. I did. Uh, um, so after I was there till ninety eight. So so you were, but you were our athletic. You were our therapist, I guess, our trainer. Yeah. But we, and that's yeah. what you're doing for Team Canada, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I was living here first, and then yeah. Um, well, I had the invites kind of throughout the summer, um, right? Just because I wasn't going home anymore in the summer, so I I yep. spent like one year in Wolfville, and then I did another 
a uh, year and uh, I did one summer in Calgary and that's what I knew. I love Calgary. It was just vast yeah, was and, wicked and uh, such a wicked town and lots of good times. But yeah, I, I, so I had the invite and that's when I, the, the, the training camp started in the summer. And I think at some point we were even actually living together. I can't remember if it was living or, together and uh, training together. We remember training we did, hard. We, yeah. At the U- UFC, we went and that's took right. part in one of their strength. In fact, which is, uh, it was just a little bit, uh, the, the program they gave you was just a little bit like two weeks late or whatever. Cause all of a sudden after you left your speed yeah. took off and I remember yeah, that it was, yeah. Yeah. Good memory. Po- yeah. It was a power study yeah. uh, that they yeah, did like, on us to, to really increase. I remember, I think I, we doubled were, our like, Oh, strength, uh, man. You strength. were over yeah. 500. I think you were squatting and uh, yeah. four something anyway, high force. Yeah. Yep, yeah. But it I was, remember uh, that. Yeah, man, it was, and I thought, well, I'm going to do that now with size and I'm going to try that same thing, you know, <laughs> get as big and fat as I can. Yeah. yeah. Winter program. <laughs> yeah. It didn't work as good, but yeah, that, that was, uh, I think you were, the, was it you, uh, who else was there at that time? There was a, an NHLer that was out. Well, we had was, Doug Lidster was the player coach kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Craig, Craig Patrick. J- I think James, it was James Patrick. James yeah, Patrick, James right. Patrick. I'll never forget you coming off. He was pricey. Jeez. He told me not to pass him the puck. He didn't want to touch the puck today. <laughs> what the fuck do I do? <laughs> he did. Yeah, he said, kid, don't give me the puck. I don't want to see yeah. it. I am fucking terrible. Do not give me that puck. And I'm like, can you play the show for 20 yeah. years? What? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice. Good pull. Yeah, uh, I forgot about funny, that. Man. There was yeah. a few guys out, though, like Brian McCabe and Jeff yeah, Friesen, Korea. I think, uh, Korea, yeah. they were like holdouts or, you know, for contract yeah. negotiations. Yeah. Freddie Brathwaite got his contract that year, I think. Freddie Brathwaite. Yeah, with the Flames. Um, and yeah, there was a bunch of guys. Weeks maybe came through at that time as well. And Weeks. I remember uh, Willie, Whit- Willie Mitchell was there for a bit, I think. He, mm-hmm. And, uh, well, of course, Jeff Ulmer played that year. Well, Casey, Brian yeah. Casey, right? KD. Yeah, man. Yeah. Love he that was guy. a beauty. Yeah. Well, he's, he's I beauty. think he's in Fredericton now or somewhere uh yeah Brunswick. somewhere around coaching. there he's he's coaching yeah. and and uh teaching and no i think he's coaching full-time no I, yeah anyway, yeah i, I think know. he's a head coach mm-hmm. yeah if you, cool. funny. If you, you need a decoder <laughs> ring come on boys get going boys <laughs> come on boys some fun wa. some fun wa. <laughs> i love it it's awesome yeah <laughs> cool well so okay so yeah you were the trainer there and then yeah we were well then actually so we yeah, you took Man. off after. Yeah, I how think did that that's all work? But I feel like when, when were we working though? Like we worked at Fitness Plus in Brayside. Yeah, I and think it fitness must have been trip. that summer. Was it? Must have been. Or was must it been. after? I don't know. Did, had, did you, had were you been. done hockey then? I wasn't because I, I I went I went off and played after that. That's right. Yeah. So we would have been living before and then. Yeah. Anyway, we yeah, were personal we, personal trainers over there and, and doing yeah that stuff. It's probably the same time. Selling gym memberships. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Closing, closing the deal and close <laughs> sign right now. You get this duffel bag. Hey, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I remember it too. You're, we were both like, how do you sell an idea of fitness? Like you can't show them what they're going to look like, but yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> the pool was the big closer. You the pool was the closer. Like five meter pool hiding in there somewhere. Save it to it the was end. Weird. Yeah. It was a cool spot. I think it's still around. Is it? I I, I'm pretty sure it's still there. I don't know if it's I wonder plus or. Yeah, if the same people own it. Irv was a Irv was the guy that ran it. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, I remember that. Great guy. Yeah, I remember. I, <laughs> oh, that uh, was fun, man. I just up and quit. I remember I said, "Yeah, I'm out of here." Because he said, "You gotta. Yeah. If you work here, you're gonna stay for a year." I said, "Yeah, no problem." And then I went a month later. Well, I'm leaving. I'm going to play hockey. Uh, see ya. <laughs> and you sold some other equipment or something after that. Maybe. Well, I. Gym I, equipment too? I popped in for a gig at Fitness Depot. I said, I'm a, I won't be here long. I just, I need a quick gig for the summer. And then I Some managed cash. for five years <laughs> after I quit really? playing hockey. After I, I quit playing hockey. Part. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, you know, yeah, treadmills, know. right? You sit in the office, you have a dart and you, you put it out on the treadmill and you come out. You're like, hey, nice me, and you, me and you are the same. <laughs> <laughs> treadmills, right? Um, what are you going to do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to wax that once in a while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, nice of them to put the whiskey holders in there that's right 
Mm-hmm. All right. So then you, uh, so you took off, I guess you kicked around and then, uh, where, where, yeah. Yeah, where'd you head after that? Cape Breton. Kind of, Cape, Cape Breton. Yeah. And, yeah. Right. I had, uh, I, at that time I was trying to become a, a certified therapist. And so then I got that and, uh, yep. or I was close to getting it. I think I finished it in Cape Breton and I applied to Saskatoon, uh, New Orleans and Cape Breton. And Cape Breton called first and then New Orleans after I'd already accepted Cape Breton's. Mm -hmm. So ended up moving back out east and stuck with that for about five years with the Screaming Eagles. Nice. And uh, yeah, there's some good players running through like Flurry was there first year I got there. So it was pretty good run with those guys. And uh, yeah, eventually I got a year older every year and those guys stayed the same and (laughs) said, okay, this is. (laughs) this is not going well. I got to get out of here. <laughs> and, uh, uh, we, I had moved up to Halifax and, uh, and I was going to pursue paramedicine and ended up just getting in doing training as well, like back into personal training and then, uh, hooked up with the military as mm-hmm. a personal trainer with them. And here I sit. And you, so you've been there doing that gig since then? Yeah, oh, oh. oh, five or six, oh, oh, six, oh, shit. oh, five, I think. Yeah, November of oh, five, I believe. Okay, something like that. Oh, I didn't realize. So, yeah, you're running the you're running the ship. Now I run the gym and the, um, yeah, all the stuff on on the Air Force side of the house, and uh, yeah, and then got into a good thing too because I wouldn't be eating if I relied only on music, right. <laughs> so I got into music a little bit later, but it was yeah. for this past year, there'd be no groceries. So, <laughs> Yeah. No kidding. Well, yeah. I, I mean, obviously we're, you know, we're, we, I got to dive into that because uh, you know, when you got into music, I'm sure like a lot of people, I, like I had no idea what I, I, like I had no clue. You know what? <laughs> I, I do remember. I do remember at school, you were yeah. always singing. You were always yeah. just ripping around. You were always kind of belting off. And normally it annoys the shit out of me, but you actually had a pretty <laughs> decent voice. So I was like, would you shut the... Well, that's a pretty good tune. All right, you can yeah, keep... let, let her go. Yeah. Let her rip. You do you. <laughs> Somebody play a guitar. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, we... Uh, I didn't know. I didn't have an idea that I was going to do anything like that. And uh, just ended up that way. My kids uh, um, were starting things and then stopping them. You know, mm-hmm. and so I was just, I just wanted to teach them that if they, if you pick something up and just stick with it, you, you'll learn it. And I, the whole intent was just to learn to play guitar. That's it. I didn't look to, you know, play professionally or to sing even at a campfire, really. I just wanted to learn how to play. And yeah. So what, what year would that have after been? After another. Uh, when would that have been? That would have been. So let me see. My, I would have picked it up um 2011 i would have bought the guitar i started picking away at it in 2012 mm-hmm. yeah and uh then 2014 i was had a few songs ready 2015 recorded the album first one unreal yeah yeah and it's a great i album. think i was 38 man like i had i got i met so many people like it was just it was really weird. Uh, it just everyone just seemed to have like a part in the story, you know, to help me get to the next spot. And anyway, I, I remember thinking and, and just going back and forth with my wife saying, I think I can do it. I think I can make this album. I think I like, I think I'm good enough to do it. I think I can do it. And uh, yeah, she going, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, and, and I went, well, I listen to this guy on the radio and I think I can sing it as good as that guy. And uh, eventually, it, it, I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. And if I only do it once, then I'm going to do it really well. And I went down to Nashville and just the people I met on the way just helped me get connected there. And and uh, I ended up locking out with the musicians that were on that album. I mean, like Kenny Chesney's piano player and Randy Travis's steel guitar player and like wow. a whole bunch of people that I just had no business being around. Right. So how did <laughs> So how did you even put that together? Like you, you went to, you just said, I'm going to Nashville to record an album or, and like, how did you meet uh, yeah. the people? And so, well, there's a, 
Yeah, I went. So my first time I went to open mic here and met, you know, right away, I met somebody there that uh, was like, man, you, uh, you should be up here singing more. And I was scared shitless. I went back home and I drank like a few beers as soon as I left <laughs> that spot. Right. I was like, fuck that. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> I was terrified. Yeah. And uh, then he tracked me down and, and uh, said, you know, you come out and keep, keep, keep at it. And, you know, we'd love to have you out here. And so through that, someone else was in the audience. And then that person met, introduced me to another guy. And this guy had some connections in Nashville and uh, ended up being my producer on the album. So he, he set it all up down there. You know, he, he knew the ins and outs of the studios and um, how to get, you know, some guys hired off the market value and, and get you in there and gave me some direction on where I could find places to stay. And, um, mm -hmm it was awesome man like I, i'd never been to nashville and it was wicked i loved it it's i mean nashville yeah you, don't, you can't beat nashville i think we were talking yeah. about with my other buddy there johnny nelson but uh now i my that was my first time there last last year or two years ago now we a bunch of us ripped down for a metallica concert and I yeah never, there's all kinds of music I, man I, they all, I, like, right yeah unbelievable like what a place it, it is it's so you, good and any kind of music i know i'm sure a lot of people think it's just country but uh, no. There's obviously a lot of country, but but there's yeah. everything uh, like '80s it, stuff, '80s covers, and and uh, oh, hard, huge. you know, metal, everything. So good. Well, with Berkeley, I think is there, and and uh, so with uh, with that and Belmont University, and and so with all those all the songwriters, there's literally millions of songs being written there every year, and sure. it's just it's called Music City. That's where everybody goes. The, I think Dave Grohl did a special from Nashville, right? He did. They, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah, that all those places, like everyone's there, man. It's a melting pot. It's and mm -hmm. every musician's good you get off the air off the off the flight and you're walking down trying to pick up your luggage and there's this guy who's awesome playing at the pub in the <laughs> in the airport for <laughs> peanuts right like you're like shit i know there's yeah <laughs> you're like how's this how's this guy not a star yeah in honestly, every man. spot there so you yeah. okay so you you just smacked together an album how long how long does it did it take you to do like you had your songs ready and and you just mm. Yeah, well, I, again, that got some help. Yeah, with some songwriting, yeah. like I learned a little bit. Like going to this open mic thing, it, you'd hear, "I'm going to do an original." I'm going to do an original, and you're like, "I got to do an original." <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I went home and I wrote one. And it was okay, and it, it wasn't really that good, to be honest. And then the the next one, I just locked out and somehow came up with Chopper and. Chopper. Uh, Great yeah, which was, Great yeah and that's the one that a lot of people caught on with and still yeah. today request a lot and uh yeah yeah I, that was my first one that i wrote and then from then on wrote a few more and then then i went through what's called rewrites you know like the 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 producer and a, a couple other people got involved and, and did some rewrites and helped me clean them up basically get them commercial ready because they were mm -hmm. they were kind of songwriter songs where you would go into an open mic and play you tell the story and then everybody would go oh i really like that song but it's a difference being played at eight in the morning without telling that story that song's right. got to stand on its gotta, own gotta yeah. resonate yeah mm -hmm. yeah so if it's and if it's shitty then that you can the the producer i had daryl he said you can polish a turd but it's still a turd <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway he uh he you know he helped me and i read a few books i when i get on something then i kind of get a little bit of tunnel vision and then i started studying songwriting uh, on my own and okay yeah and fixed it up a little bit and then yeah moved down there for a couple of weeks to record it and came back so it's, it's a never ending thing though, you know, right. Like it's once, once you start it, then it's, and it's there's no, finished. yeah. Right. Like actually that's funny you say that because as from a songwriter's perspective, it's almost true. Like it's ne that even a song it's never finished. It's until that producer says, yeah, that's, you got it. Just leave it alone now. Right. Like it's, yeah. Then, then it's officially done. You can yeah, that it. is officially print it, cut it, move on. Yeah. Next one. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot to it, man. Like I, I'm just learning so much. Yeah oh i bet that's crazy can't yeah. even imagine so how yeah. many uh <clears throat> so you did that album now and so where did you uh like i would imagine it's different these days you you release it to who like where itunes spotify uh, oh yeah so the first one i did yeah there and i i sold a shitload of physical copies and that was 2015 
Yeah. The last one I like, so it was five years, five years between uh, oh. albums. Hold on here. Yeah, I, I lost, your, I lost right. it for a sec. That's right. There am I back. Yeah. yeah so I was back. about five, five years between albums and uh, what a difference. Yeah. So now it's all Spotify and Apple music and that sort of thing. So uh, you don't I need to have... necessarily produce the hard copies. You probably don't need to at all. Right. Or well, you, you know, know I, or... I probably sold, I'm going to say, 200 maybe 150 200 physical copies mm -hmm. uh, in a covid environment so you can't go play and that's where you normally sell them is is at concerts and you know festivals um but yeah so it's all downloads it's all freaking downloads now the last one though like probably i'm gonna say 1500 copies right yeah so that wow. tells you five years you know what what the market's done what a difference hey yeah yeah it's weird and now you can't even, now there's no CD players in a car, right? Like, so you, you, even five years ago that you had those older model cars where people had the CD players in them. Now it's, I don't even have a CD player. Can you put on a thumbstick? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm going to release my thumbstick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's crazy, man. That, that yeah. is wild. And so, yeah. You know, and there's a bit of, you said there's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of hubbub, a little bit of a, some, some noise right now with, there was an article that got put out and. Yeah. Yeah. There's funny. I, I get like uh, even junk emails now. People, I just got one today uh, saying celebrate your, your article. And uh, here's this plaque we've made up and uh, it's customized. And there's a, you know, a picture of a newspaper article. It was just an article. There wasn't, I didn't win nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I've, and there's been other ones. It's just for some reason, this one just caught on for, anyway, we'll see what happens. But the ECMAs are coming up. So we'll, hopefully it'll get nominated. And that's for, uh, that's for Por Favor, right? No, that one's Isn't for it? the new or... album, 27. Yeah. Oh, Por, they the threw new... Por Favor. They threw Por Favor on there. Uh, probably. Cause that's, I would say that's probably my last music video I did was Por Favor. And yeah, it's uh, good. It's a good yeah. one. It's oh man, that was a lot of fun. Talk about a party. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't imagine. We, I, yeah, I could just imagine. Oh, we brought about 80 people down there to Mexico and it was oh, like, this is gonna God. be a party. We gotta film a video. We gotta be, you know, we gotta be lit up. I I may or may not have fallen in the pool with my clothes on. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's when I switched to tequila. See, <laughs> <laughs> well, I got your uh, I got your list. I did a little playlist up on, up here in the YouTube. Like, I'm oh, still, yeah. learn, still learning this stuff too, right? So I'm like, yeah. I'm like playlist. What the fuck is this? What am I What am I putting a playlist up for? But now I know because I don't know if you hear the tune at the beginning. I use a buddy of mine, uh, shoot the lights out, local band, Denny nice. Rockers, good times. So he does my little intro and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. then, then I realized, yeah, you can put your list up. So I I just wrote, you know my pals and I got oh, cool. your, your tunes are up there and yeah, I oh, got like you. at least 55 subscribers. So, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, could... a, that's a few bucks right there in your pocket. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dozens of cents. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. It's so crazy, man. You see uh, these people that like Taylor Swift put something out. I can't remember. She got like a million streams on her song. Got paid a thousand bucks or something like it that it's there's definitely not a lot of money in it we could say that but there's not yeah no man not with us not physical stuff but that's definitely the way to help like anybody any of your you know you got anybody's in music it's add them to a playlist and and hopefully that playlist gets played by more and more people and and, and then, then they add to playlists and, and mm -hmm. yeah that kind of stuff so yeah well that's kind of where that's kind of the angle i'm taking right with with yeah the, the great with northern the podcast. drilling and yeah. the podcast thing like um you know when i started the podcasting obviously it was for this like yeah shits and giggles and i just always want to do it so you know what fuck you like celebrities <laughs> we don't we're the cool ones we're the ones with we the stories no stinking celebrities <laughs> we don't need to listen to their stories we have cooler yeah. stories that was my That's idea great. and then now yeah. that i did the pivot to the to the to the gear to the swag I'm like, well, you, you can tie it back and then, well, you share your podcasts and what's the stuff he's peddling and what's with the gear. And, and, uh, yeah. it actually makes total sense, you know, so oh, for sure, people man. share it, the, the word gets out and that's how yeah. it works. 
Yeah, I love it. I think it's great. Like it, and it's uh, it reminds me. I was into listening to a lot of podcasts a couple of years back, and Tim Ferriss. I don't know if you listen to Tim. No, that's exactly how we started. I just wanted to scratch my own itch. It's, it's was yeah. his thing, and it, he blew up like he mm. he blew up in the podcast world. So I, I got no doubt, man, that this is going to catch fire. We'll see. Yeah. You know, I I certainly didn't start it to do that. Like obviously, yeah. you know, I mean, it's literally right in the name, like just make people <laughs> famous. I mean, I guess if you yeah. actually did make it there, I'd be making myself famous. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, uh, but if, if, yeah, if people like it, wicked, I don't, I'm like, I don't care right now. That's, just, that's what's great. I don't care. I just yeah. want to talk and with good people and catch up. And we haven't talked like this in how many oh years? Oh my God, man. Right. I like, like, geez, I can't even remember. It has to be 10. Okay. It's gotta be close to that anyway. Seven, eight, ten. I don't Seven, know. Eight, yeah, I don't know. Then, I, know. I failed math too. <laughs> well, it's a bullshit subject. I mean, come on. Yeah, I, I bounce basketballs and count push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Much easier. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, I don't. I uh, I really uh, I do enjoy it. I do I do like this this part of it and catching up with with old buddies and seeing where they're at and um, and just your your story alone. I know you're still honing your craft but like i just think yeah. it's amazing like you, your voice really is amazing buddy oh thanks man it's I, such I, a throwback do you hear that a lot yeah i get you know people people say it's a, a old school to kind old of school. voice you know or like a randy travis i've been compared to that sure. genre or, or era i guess yeah. But yeah it's which is it's good but it's a detriment uh, I guess too, if you're not really, I was into, I was really pushing and going radio, 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 and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, wanting to hit and get that commercial success, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Cause there's no path, Like you know, with right. hockey, there's the coach tells you, you got to do this. The coach tells you to do this and this and this and this, you'll get better. You'll do you'll, this. You'll go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, but with this, you might as well try to map out the stars. Like there's no way to get to where you're want to go right there's no one way it's it's mm -hmm. there's so much to it and so after a while it became exactly what you just said i don't give a shit you know if you like it good then uh, i'm more it. than happy that's awesome right but now i just do so this last album pretty much all my songs that i wrote alone uh and mm -hmm. without co-writes or without rewrites and it's just like yeah here it is if you don't like it don't listen <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, that's how it's got to be yeah. Yeah, you and, do it because uh, you because you love it, right? Yeah, and it's just been that much better, you know. It's just, and in fact, it's more true. And yeah, it. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing this album. It was oh, cool. good for you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully it'll continue. And, oh, I'm and, sure. And it just will. yeah. Well, I will. I just whether people <laughs> whether it catches whether on. People, yeah, yeah. And whether people listen or not, and that's that's in the end. Again, hopefully they will. If they don't, it's not going to be. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck him. Right. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I tell, so I tell yeah. buddies, uh, even, yeah. even with this podcast thing or, you know, I, and a lot of this, uh, you know, <clears throat> would be, can be attributed back to because it's COVID, but also, yeah. you know, with my heart surgery, it, it just, yeah. for some reason, all these things that I'd been thinking about my whole life in like, am I doing what I want? Like, I don't, you know, you're thinking of these pivots and then so now i yeah. now it's a joke when i tell my buddies i'm like well covid's been the same except for i grew a mustache and now i'm a fashion designer and a youtuber and I'm almost <laughs> <laughs> but other than that it's the same oh <laughs> so, uh, yeah it's but awesome, yeah man. just don't care well, i don't care whatever put it out there i think it's great man no it's mm -hmm. and and i think as we get older you realize that you know who cares like really life life is too short it. literally it's yeah. too short like we're not here very long it doesn't resonate yeah. with us when we're 20 because you do think oh, you're here forever forever yeah right yeah now it's like yeah. i got a short window here you know you gotta take a swing yeah. so with this swag i'm just like just do it like fuck did, it's right there how did the heart thing get mm -hmm. kind of in your head with that was that did it tighten that thought process up like frig this is only a short ride around like or or like, did that make it's, it well it, no good, good question because it's like they were two separate things like the mm. the heart was obviously 
a, a big one in my life. And I, and the first one was too, but this time a little different with family. Yeah. You no, know, with the daughter yeah. and stuff. Um, but so I just, I wanted to like either film and share or talk and, and put it out there. And then from that came, Hey, I'm pretty comfortable, uh, shooting the shit and, yeah. and now in front of the camera, I'm like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, uh, I'm just going to put that out there. And I was going to do the show. And then after my surgery, the swag thing started building in my mind, uh, pivoting in the company. Cause we had to do yeah. something with our company. The, we, we just, we weren't making it. We knew that. And I was going to sell the rig and move on and that's yeah. okay. And then, yeah, I think it was, it was literally in November of this year. I had my heart surgery in September in November. I thought, cause, cause I was doing these and people would yeah. always ask about the fucking hat every time <laughs> and they always awesome. do even in the street. Right. And I'm just like, yeah. Maybe we have something like I did try to create a brand that people liked because I'm a marketing yeah. guy, a guy. Yeah. So yeah. sell the rig. We I always thought it was important to have good swag, good Got good to. gear. You represent your company, you know. And yep. the Great Northern drilling really meant like drilling in the Great White North. Now it's like what we used to joke about it. Actually, me and Barks, and you know you know Barkley, right? My partner. We used <laughs> yeah, to joke. I met him. Yeah, but I don't. I didn't know him from school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we, yeah. we yeah, later, but you know, we've been yeah. teammates and opponents our whole life, almost half our life. And the joke yeah. was every time we'd go out, you know, people would say, You got your rig going? And we'd be like, No, but look <laughs> at the hats. Yeah. Or like, you know what? G and D wallets. Those are nice. We're ready. <laughs> so yeah. it was always a joke. And then we're yeah. like, actually, we never thought of selling the gear ever. In November, yeah. it, it hit me like sell the rig off and yeah. pedal this stuff. And uh cannot keep up like it's beside me right here but i i cannot that's keep awesome. up we can't keep up that's so great man that's awesome yeah, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool i love it mm -hmm. wicked. Uh, yes. i love it it's, you know what and it's uh just to have this the foresight and that and the guts to do to take action because that's really in what i've seen separates a lot of people that are are dreamers and doers like mm -hmm. If you just, you could have dreamt it and said, yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be nice. I should do that. I should do that. But the fact that you went out and said, yeah, fucking, I'm going to do it. And then all aboard, like you got different lines, like what sweater, hoodies, toques, caps, yeah. like, right. So that it's, it doesn't just happen by itself. You, you obviously put in all the work and, uh, just, that's awesome. Congrats, man. Yeah. Thanks. Just, well, you have to, you do it. have to do it. And in, in yeah, my, like my experience. Around probably comes with age. Yeah. You do have to take a swing and you don't, yeah. you're not going to get that promotion if you don't yep. ask or yep. you can't just be a little worker bee and hopefully someone notices you, you got to ask. And yeah. uh, same thing with starting. I think back, I didn't realize that I was an entrepreneur at heart, even though uh, then, then when I look back, I mean, I was selling corn <laughs> on my own in high school from a local farmer. You know, I'd buy it for two bucks, sell it for three bucks a dozen. I'd make a hundred bucks a day. <laughs> that's I, awesome. I, I'd been doing it my whole life. I just didn't realize that that's what I wanted to do. And, and every, yeah. every job you have, you're like, God, I just want to be out on my own. But what, but what? Yeah. You, just, you got, you do have to take a swing or it ain't happening. Well, you've always had a, a way of influence, influencing people, right? Like you could, you could get people to do things you, that even that they didn't want to do. You know I mean? Yeah. But I don't it, know it, if that's an it's, art. It's, or... Well, there's some charisma and charm and that's mm -hmm. sales, right? Like that's just, you sell ideas. And so if, if you can sell, I mean, people need to trust you in order to do that. So that's, that's 100%. awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. have had a lot that's of people cool. say that too. Like if, if it wasn't, if it wasn't you or, you know, you're one of the good guys. So yeah. Yeah. I'll support you in this and I'll buy a hat and, uh, you know, take this hat. I had a buddy come by today. Uh, Mitch Redshaw was his name, but you know, he, he pops by and uh, gives me, he buys some gear and he throws me a hat and I'm like, well, I didn't even tell nice. him. I just, I'm going to wear his hat, you know, like, that's awesome. It's, uh, that's how it works. We help each other. Right. That's how it that's works. Wicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's great, man. I love it. I think it's wicked. You're doing well, I, uh, I, yeah, I don't know if I told you, but I, um, we had Stanfields call us the other day. Um, yeah, Stan, Stanfields called and they said they want to, I guess they did a big deal with his lifestyle. Said they like yeah. to come board. Not sure if being Canadian made is big for you. And I was like, yeah, of course. Duh, I, we're in the Rockies <laughs> right here. Look at behind me. Are you kidding me? I got my uh, horseshoe, uh, my snowshoes on underneath the desk here. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. great. So yeah, we're gonna do something with them. We're excited about that. So yeah, they do. They carry some. I mean, they got some big partners, man. They like, do. Huge. They yeah. do. They do. Yeah. We're not sure. I just had a beep there. Did you have a beep? Hmm. Uh, it's kind of an echo or something. Hold the line, caller. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so you've been in. Uh, so you've been yeah. in Halifax, uh, I guess, the entire time Steady. now, right? Steady. Yep, steady. I'm. I'm in. I have had maybe two donairs, but I'm, yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> well, there's yeah. a king. No, it's cool. It's, it's the best city. I, I, oh, I have such a ball here, man. Like, and you know what? Now I live just outside, so I live in uh, Lawrence Town area, and there's it's mm -hmm. the mecca of surfing in. Oh, is it? Uh, okay. Yeah, at least uh, Eastern Canada, but uh, even arguably Canada, they're saying so. Um, like Jimmy Buffett came up here to surf, so mm -hmm. I guess probably about four or five years ago. Um, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it, it's literally 10 minutes from my house at Lawrence town beach. So oh, wow. it's, it's awesome. I love it out here. It's just where, where, I, yes. I so where is Lawrence town? It like, it's close so, to, would you call it Halifax? Would it be considered? Yeah. It's still part of HRM. So they combined everything a while back, you know, Dartmouth mm -hmm. and Halifax are now HRM. So, mm -hmm. Um, it's on the Dartmouth side. It's uh, actually five minutes from Coal Harbor. So, okay, yeah, Sid, Sid's hometown. Sid fact, Kid, yeah, both and Nate McKinnon and Gavin mm -hmm. Tucker, and yeah, yeah, it's town of champions. Yeah. <laughs> so my both my kids play with the Coal Harbor Red Wings, actually. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Or both my boys here, and then my other two uh, in Sydney are. Uh, I got Alex and graduating this year, so I'm old officially. Mm -hmm. And Abby's uh, uh, just got her license, so oh my god, kids are growing up, man. Man, oh man, yeah. Well, do you uh, so did you ever meet? Uh, did you get to meet like Sydney or Nate McKinnon or any of them out yep. there? Yeah, yeah, yep. probably a few yep. times. I uh, well, yeah, I threw the I worked uh, the Cape Breton with Cape Breton Eagles and when Sid came on the scene, so. Uh, met him quite a few times uh, through that, and then mm -hmm. afterwards, he uh, he would try to hide from from people a little bit when he when he started, you know, blowing up. Um, which yeah. was, geez, he was in junior at that time. In fact, I mm -hmm. argued with the Sherwood rep. His first year in the league, they they created a pattern, the Crosby pattern. Mm. Well, nobody in the Quebec league had their had a retail had pattern. A pattern. Yeah. Right. And I retail, uh, he's in there with Iserman and all these other guys. And I'm going, I shit all over the Sherwood guys. How kind of guy are you, you know, putting pressure on a kid like that? He hasn't even, he, he hasn't played. He just came out of midget for Christ's sake. I said, and you're going to put all this pressure. You got all these guys going to be chirping them. And then I seen him about three months after I said, yeah, I remember Johnny, what I was talking about. Yeah. Forget it, man. That's a, uh, that's a good call. <laughs> 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 you're yeah. like okay yeah you made the right choice yeah 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 i get it now yeah that's oh, why i'm on this side <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he uh he would come down to the base in shearwater and and he played tennis down there and we let him drive into the back of the arena and and play ball hockey in the summers when he was a little bit younger and oh, super cool. guy yeah well he's yeah. really nice i don't i don't know if if you were with us uh when we when we met him down at the halifax bar did did you I, uh do you remember that yeah that was <laughs> do you remember the story yeah yeah uh about his left is that his what left. you mean you yeah. just you just totally jogged my memory yeah we yeah. We, we rolled into town uh for i think we were playing the uh habs alumni it was all the habs yeah. alumni versus acadia alumni yeah and uh, we i was like well we need we need beers i mean we got uh, how many old old dudes and, and so one of the kids i think it was one of the sutherlands yeah i think they're cousins cousin. with him. yeah cousins. With so, so yeah. we reached out to one of the sutherlands again i apologize for not remembering because they're it's robbie twins. yeah robbie yeah. and uh we said we need like yeah ryan R robbie and brian yep they're robbie and brian yeah. yeah i said well we need like 30 cases of beer and uh can you hook us up he goes yeah just meet why don't you guys meet us at the pub so we met him at the pub and he's sitting yeah. there with Sidney Crosby. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you grow up like we do around the game, you don't want to be, I don't want to be a bumbling idiot. We just shot the shit with Sid. Yeah. You know, the whole bar just stood there staring at him. Yeah. And then Clancy, Greg Clancy, yeah. <laughs> who was smashed out of his mind, 
<coughs> just kind of <laughs> walked up behind him and we were just sitting he and Sid obviously didn't didn't drink hardly anything we were all crushing partying and he yeah. leans into Sydney's ear and goes uh, you got to learn how to shoot off your other foot <laughs> <laughs> and, and, oh, yeah. oh, and you classic. know what happened and, and do you yeah. remember what happened after that after the well, golden goal after the golden yeah. goal said the kid buries it my phone goes off is he it goes, him did you see what foot it was did you see that <laughs> <laughs> i remember i remember chirping clients the next morning because he said he can't he can't shoot off his left i said he sure accepted the stanley cup off his left though and <laughs> 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 oh god that's funny yeah that yeah. what a great time that was a good oh, night a good time yeah i think jody shelley was out with us that night too i think jody was out with us yeah is he yeah. in your area now or is he uh i don't think so i think he's moved permanently now to columbus mm. yeah i got an old moose head uh, in, in uh as a tenant of mine right now at my one of my um, oh. my old my old condo uh, alex johnstone i don't know if you remember him okay i know the name he played yeah. for the mooseheads yeah. he's he was just real good good buddies with chris payton anyway he's drafted yeah. by the devils w- wicked guy it's, it's just good to have yeah. a have a, a buddy in there renting and he's got his daughter so our daughters hang out that's so awesome yeah that's pretty cool How's pretty cool treating you <clears throat> it's the best i can't even isn't it <laughs> I just I can't believe I didn't you know I, I yeah I still say I feel bad I'm a little older now I just want to be around for her but I I just we uh it is the best thing on earth I yeah we're trying we've been trying for a few years for for another we're just not having a ton of luck right but um okay yeah Brooklyn she's three and a half now and um she was ripping yesterday it's her third time on skates she's just ripping like pushing that I've thing seen and some footage there yeah you guys had had her out first day I think the first time on skates well, very first well. time she stood up I just thought there's yeah. no way I, I was like I'm gonna be holding her like a noodle and that's fine yeah. as long as she likes the ice and nope and she just pushed that walker away and started the little the little penguin steps there and I just man I'm, I'm pretty sure I had a tear it might have been frozen in my oh, face yeah. but uh <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm a proud dad right now. Yeah, yeah. There she goes. Next day. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah awesome, it man. is. It is the best. There's no question. Yeah. I tell you, my guys were, uh, every one of them cried and wanted to get off the <laughs> <laughs> you want to get off the ice right away well that's what that's, i figured would happen she's natural yeah no that's 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 awesome man that's yeah. how we remember it I don't, i'm sure you remember that i just remember oh, yeah. your feet you know your Sucking. back and things yeah. hurt and you're just whining and falling smashing your head <laughs> off the ice yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you gonna get in so oh she's still too young yet but you're what are you thinking about for coaching and stuff are you looking I'm at that sh- down I'm the road sh- i'm sure i'm sure yeah. that'll happen Right. Yeah. Uh, as if I'm going to be able to sit there with my coffee watching some guy who's never played and uh, teaching the <laughs> wrong drills or something. And I'm like, nope, you're out. I got it. Give me your stick. Yeah. Eat it. <laughs> That's exactly it, too. Right? That'll happen. I want to be in that room. I want to know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I don't know if too. you probably wouldn't know this, but uh, uh, so Kevin, so Palsy and I, uh, yeah. um, back in the day, we coached. Uh, we tried coaching him and I. Bantam AAA out here, Bow really? Valley, Bow Valley Timberwolves. We coached, yeah, and uh, oh they just God. needed. They had, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a few incidents out there throwing garbage cans on the ice and stuff like that, but um, we loved it. I, yeah. I loved it. Yeah, it was great. Um, awesome but the parents are still crazy, man. They're still you parents are you, It doesn't get any, but like some of the stories. I, in fact, I thought of creating a youtube show where you're just walking around rinks filming parents that are in the stands because oh that it, would it sell. bananas man like it's crazy some of the stuff well, it's yeah. canada I, guess. I, was, I was sitting beside a grandmother who just given it to about a 13 year old referee right <laughs> i said i finally I turned to her this is at the the joe uh tournament which is a big one in in Cole harbor and i turned i looked at her i said you know ma'am that's somebody else's grandson and she went, oh, my. <laughs> I just thought I'd let you know. I said, see you later. Oh, God, it was, uh, uh, it's insane. I can't believe yeah. some of the stuff I see. Yeah, yeah. They're Most crazy. of the time I just sit, if I'm not coaching, I'm sitting yeah. in a corner by sit myself. Sit in the corner. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I, I remember a guy coming down and this, this, I mean, this happened when I was a kid and it still happened now, but when I was coaching, I saw a guy come around with the stopwatch and a clipboard, a parent, he came down to the room, what? I saw him and I was yeah. already angry at something I can't remember. And he just said, you know, uh, my son had X amount of ice time. And I said, it's because he's fucking brutal. Okay. <laughs> Turn around. You got to make an appointment. If you want to see me, I'm sorry. Do you want to win? Or do you want to start? Uh, 24 hour take rule. Get 24 away hours. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, don't know. I'm, I probably got written up or something for it. I don't know. Uh, maybe you never maybe. know back then, right? Yeah. yeah. If your picture's on the wall when you walk back in to get certified, you'll know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we got to get you. Uh, hey, we got to get you out for. I mean, I've been saying it for years now since you picked picked up the scene, the the, the picked yeah. up the guitar. But I I and I think we can do it. But we got to get you playing, awesome. in a, playing in a venue out here for Stampede. Uh, I, That'd be great. In fact, I know we can do it. We just got to get the right, get the right spot. And well, I'm uh, I've got a lot of family out there too. So I uh, I played the Bailey Theater, the oldest theater in Western Canada, and I, I played that. That's in Camrose, I think. Camrose, mm-hmm. Camrose, Camrose, just outside Edmonton, hour outside okay. Edmonton. That'd be Camrose. Yep. Camrose, yeah, and. Uh, I'm uh, trying to get back there again because my uncle lives there and Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully I had, I had this little thing set up where I was going to play across Canada on uh, via rail. Oh, wow. So they, yeah, they just let you play and uh, basically give you free transportation. And Mm -hmm. so we were going to try, we had Toronto or going to Montreal booked and then that all COVID kind of screwed it. And it was going to be like a trial to see how it would be to go right across. So Hopefully, if this all settles down a bit, we'll be able to actually cross a few borders and start playing in a few places again. Well, that, I mean, that's something that a lot of the people probably don't consider is that, yeah, um, the music industry and movies and all that stuff is taking a hit, but it's the live, it's the live events that's really Huge. hurting your industry, right? Like the music yeah. industry. Huge. That's where you guys couples. make your, well, A, your name, but B, obviously revenue, and that's how you get paid yeah. and yeah it it absolutely crippled the industry like just it's crippled there's there's just no other word for it well, didn't david uh, grohl start up something uh, like a like a foundation to save uh, something like that like trying to start like save live music something like that yeah right? there's there's uh you know canada's got their own thing too uh there's uh oh, geez why it's it's off on the tip of my tongue but uh um I'm trying to think the name of it. Hmm. Every anyway, every uh, there's there's foundations that are out there for for and they were they were there for when musicians were struggling, like may have had medical issues or uh, could have been depression, could have been anything on why they weren't playing, and it yeah. would be some sort of an assistance. And now it's now there's a bunch of money going into that sort of thing, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In in the end, you know what? No different than anybody else though. You got to get a different way to get income and adapt and overcome and, and then maybe go back to it, generate another revenue stream, right? Like Mm -hmm. figure out another way to live for a bit. So, and eventually it is. Yeah. Yeah. COVID's brutal, man. It's just uh, shellacked us. Like you you guys are like, and you're total, like you guys have been totally locked down, right? Oh my. And, And for, and we got like 30, I don't know. Maybe it's 50 cases. I don't know. There's not very many. Like, like nothing. Yeah. Nothing. And nothing. Yeah. we're we're like, nope. You're not going here. You're not going there. You're not, you know. So it's we just opened it up uh, not too long ago where kids could start practicing again, uh, playing hockey just among their own team. Yeah. All sports, that sort mm-hmm. of thing. And bars just opened for short windows and restaurants just open, but over Christmas, over Christmas, it was all shut down. There was no Chris, you know, you couldn't have more than five people at your house. And that was with 20 cases, 30 cases, but it's working, I guess, you know, if you I don't go anywhere, it's <laughs> <laughs> like a hermit, you won't get anything. <laughs> yeah. Great. Cool. Don't need money. Whatever. Yeah. I guess I'll just yeah. eat this couch. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that outside. Yeah, that's nice. I don't like it here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you, yeah, well, COVID, uh, how, how are people, like, are people afraid there? I'm not to oh, talk yeah. about COVID because we don't need to. We talk about it every day, I guess, in our own lives. But, like, are people afraid of it? Yeah, absolutely. We got an older population on here too, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but it's not as population dense either. So, 
there's yeah yeah so a lot of smaller towns aren't as scared of it you know what i mean like they're mm-hmm. yeah whatever they're still ripping around and talking to each other and yeah. be like a, a smaller farm town in alberta but um mm-hmm. yeah it's our big our most population didn't spot is halifax and which isn't really you know we're not crawling all over each other there's maybe a million here i was gonna say i don't even know the population yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and that's you know, all I, of halifax all of halifax yeah yeah i actually flipped a coin i don't, I don't know if you knew that when i when i finished playing hockey i i i wanted to live in halifax like i oh, really yeah. wanted to live in halifax but i knew i should be in calgary like for opportunity i, I knew i wasn't going home yeah. just yeah. um I just, anyway, I knew I wasn't going home and I loved Calgary, but I really wanted to live in Halifax and I flipped a coin and Halifax actually won the toss. And no I went, way. It did. And I was like, I think I'm going to Calgary. <laughs> just I'm going to put this two headed nickel back in my pocket. <laughs> Tricking myself all the time. Like, ah, you jokester. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. You, got me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. It just was like, I, I think I really need to go to Alberta just for the opportunity's <laughs> yeah. sake at the time. But I still, oh, yeah. man, I, I still has my heart. I love, love the East Coast. Oh, love the people. It's a best great people. spot, man. Yeah, it's different. It, it's different now than it used to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, there's more, uh, you know, it's got that, uh, I don't know, it's a younger younger, different generation now than it, than it used to be as well, right? Like right. it was more of a, hard party spot now it's not as much as a of the party atmosphere and it's oh no hmm. no nah, not as much a yeah. Weird, no? <clears throat> yeah it's a little bit more uh not folky but def- definitely millennial yeah has that oh, touch on it right so yeah, yeah. right yeah they're not so. as well they don't i don't think they party the same as as we do no either i don't want to no, say man. they don't party but they don't party like we did which was not the same exactly whole yeah. throttle all, all the time yeah yeah loaded at pizza corner you're throwing Smashed. up yeah it's not yeah, throwing up. Di- diving over pizza bars and streaking yeah. and... oh my god the streaks <laughs> <laughs> i had a nickel if i nope. had a nickel boy yeah <laughs> i haven't uh, done a streak in uh well actually i remember my last one i did my last one at uh, my best buddy's wedding oh, Marty no staples way. here yeah and i said yeah. this is my swan song I'm in my thirties, man. Said I'll streak your wedding. That's it. He's like, okay, you got to do it. Yeah, you got to do it. Uh, that's, awesome. <laughs> that's, so that's like a celebrity streak. Yeah, yeah that was a celebrity that's streak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Funny, I wouldn't. Man. Obviously, wouldn't do it now. But uh, <laughs> body's a little different, you know, dad bod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to see that anymore. Right? Yeah. Like, you are not well groomed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. That, that's not manscaped. <laughs> yeah that's funny he's right yeah well, well so yeah any any plans to come out this way do you think i guess it, not right now with covid but i guess soon, like you said, as soon as i yeah man as soon as, soon I, can, as can. I'm, yeah i'm uh i definitely want to hit it for sure and mm-hmm. we were out there my i brought you know all my kids out uh, my youngest wasn't even born at that time to uh to go to stampede and it'd be good to take them out there again. That was one of my favorite times. Right. And Stampede's my great uncle. Yeah. He was one of the original cowboys that was in it way back. Oh, really? So, okay. Yeah. 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 So there's a, the cowboy way. Cowboy way. But I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'll, well, I'd love to get out there. Yeah. You know. It is the best to 10 days. Oh. Of, I don't know how many years I had to, I just had to go 10 for 10 every single oh, year. Oh my God. Right. Yeah. And then now Painful. it's to have like bull busting. There's like events before. So it actually starts firing up like the Wednesday before. So oh, really? it's, it's more like 12, 14 days. And I remember shit. even thinking bull bust. I'm like, why, why do I, you know, I'm going to destroy myself from Friday to Sunday to the following Sunday. And then yeah. I went to that. I'm like, Oh my God, that's a good party. So now I go, <laughs> you go even more God. but i i it's a it's different too now like age wise i can't you know the recovery is uh, oh i blow i have I a couple of gooders and yeah do you remember going to cowboys for uh way back when we were that was when we were uh with the national team there and uh that's right oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah they they gave us vip cards and we go in it was all <laughs> shut down the flames were there we were there and all some of the stuff 
I think Rocky Thompson was playing with the Flames at that time. And he was. <laughs> and there, That's right. there was some uh, some guy trying to pick a fight with him. He said uh, he turned around to him. He went, you think I got these from playing piano? <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. Yeah. <laughs> After hours. What a what a great spot. Oh I my god. That. Yeah. yeah. Holy just, shit. I forgot about that. No, I didn't even remember. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. See now you're gonna go down there tonight. You're gonna be thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be going back in my head. Yeah. Yeah. Why did yeah. I remember that? I usually remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's yeah. some good times in that spot, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the old cowboy shut down, right? I don't know if you knew that. Oh, has it? Oh, I didn't know that. It's well, it shut down, and then they they opened up in a new location. It's like a cowboy's casino, and it's oh, um, so it, it's just this big, massive venue, and and they kind of yeah, the old the old venue, which was a staple, it was because it was beside Kaylee's, it was the best. Yeah, uh, you said yeah, you both right, and it was amazing. Like right across the street or something, kitty right. corner or something. Wasn't Liter- it? Literally, yeah, like same block, just an alley yeah. between Kaylee's and Cowboys. Yeah, and yeah. It was, the rooftop patio which is gigantic which kaylee's is now re- redone in a different area but huh. yeah those two were the staple and so <clears throat> they kind of lost the luster a little bit but they're they're back anyway cowboys casino is just a juggernaut right i mean it's nice yeah it's awesome yeah yeah we'll That's show you a good time we'll show you a good time if you make it over. oh i'm in I'm, <laughs> hey i'm not as good as i once was <laughs> <laughs> but i'm as good once yeah. write that down that'll be your next song yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one and one never thought of that yeah. <laughs> well hey good good to see you buddy yeah, I, just, man. I wanted to catch up and dig in and see yeah how you're it's doing. great congrats again man on all this this is awesome i love it thanks buddy yeah. no i really appreciate yeah. it congrats on all i'm your... gonna push it too are you yeah on our side. oh yeah i'll push it out of course i'm in it so uh, you know <laughs> <laughs> Just buy yeah, yeah. you better. I'll just just send me some of your thumb thumbsticks, uh, USB yeah. sticks. I'll hand them out in your tunes. <laughs> Authentic thumbstick. Yeah. yeah sure. Okay, dude. Cool. Well, that's yeah. great. Great catching up with you. Awesome to catch up. I love it. We'll uh, we'll circle back after. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, buddy. buddy. Take care. Bye.